you all are can join us. Today is Earth Day, but every day should be Earth Day. But today is the day that we set aside to remember Mother Earth, to think about the things that we have done to her and ways in which we should be thinking about ways in which we can solve the conundrum of climate chaos. And I couldn't think of anybody better to talk about Earth Day and what is ahead of us, the work that we must do right now and into the future than the one and only Dr. Peter Kalmus. And Dr. Peter is a NASA climate scientist and he was just arrested for protesting on the grounds of J.P. Morgan Chase, baby. Yes, he was. See, that's what activists do. They out there doing the daggone thing. And I want to thank the dear doctor for being on this assignment, for being on this mission. And there's so many climate activists out there that they make the earth their number one priority while other people are working on other things. And it is all of us put together because there's a there's a connection, there's an intersection between dealing with climate chaos, trying to save Mother Earth and all the other beautiful and wonderful things that some of us are fighting for. So, Doc. Welcome, welcome to the welcome to Turner TV. I'm so glad uh, to have you. We are doing civil disobedience at J.P. Morgan Chase Bank, which, out of all the banks in the world, the one that has done the most to fund fossil fuel projects. I'm here because scientists are not being listened to. I'm willing to take a risk for this gorgeous planet, <laughs> for my sons. And we've been trying to warn you guys for so many decades that we're heading towards a fucking catastrophe. And we've been being ignored. The scientists of the world have been being ignored. And it's got to stop. We're going to lose everything. And we're not joking. We're not lying. We're not exaggerating. This is so bad, everyone. Um, that we're willing to take this risk. need a billion climate activists you did that and 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 so let's let's talk about let's just get right straight into this why are you going to these limbs to educate people and to sound the alarm about what is happening to mother earth how we use fossil fuels and what we can do to 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 stem the tide on this right now yeah so speaking on my own behalf as a nasa climate scientist i can say that as a climate scientist, and I think a lot of scientists agree with me, we can see a real disaster coming, a real catastrophe, and we know that we're in an emergency. And then we write reports after reports and papers after papers. IPCC Working Group 3 report came out two days before that uh, civil disobedience action that we just showed. And what it said was we need a moratorium on all new fossil fuel infrastructure now. Very, very clear about that. And then we have to start ramping down the fossil fuel industry quickly and do it in a, in a, in a just way, in a socially equitable way and protecting the working class, protecting right. the most affected people, not just in America, but around the world. Um, so uh, this is what's not happening right now. This is what the U.S. government is not doing right now. This is what the governments all around the global north of this planet are not doing right now. So as a climate scientist, what am I supposed to do? We keep... For 16 years, I've been trying to sound this alarm. My colleagues have been trying to sound this alarm for decades. They're not doing it. I've got two beautiful sons, and I'm going to fight like hell for them and fight like hell for everyone else on this planet. And so that's why the least I can do is chain myself to the door handle of J.P. Morgan Chase Bank uh, and risk arrest. J.P. Morgan uh, Chase, uh, your, your listeners might not realize, does more to fund 
new fossil fuel infrastructure, that thing that we have to stop doing than any other bank on the planet. City is number two. And the list goes down from there. There All of these banks are trying to profit off the destruction of our planet and our collective future. And it's got to stop. And to stop it, we have to stand up to it. I don't know what else to say because the people in charge right now, they're not doing it. No, they're not. And and we only have one Earth, unless, Doc, you can tell me something else that I don't know. Pale and blue dot. It's a beautiful place. It's it's a it's a trippy, gorgeous, wonderful place, just bursting with life and goodness. We've got coffee here. We've got chocolate here. We've got beautiful trees and coral reefs and forests and oh. and you know seashores with the lapping ocean. It's just a paradise here. And we're we're taking it to higher levels of global heating, which are causing these fires that we're seeing, these floods that we're seeing, it's going to start translating into catastrophic crop failure. It's going to start translating into the band around the equator being uninhabitable to the human body and hundreds of millions, potentially, if we don't change course fast, of climate migrants moving up and knocking on the doors of the global north, which could lead to a rise of authoritarianism. So this is a real crisis. I see it coming. It's physics. The planet's getting hotter by a tenth of a degree every five years. And we are heading towards levels of global heating that I don't want to see. So it's not too late, but I am fighting like hell. And a lot of other people are fighting like hell to stop irreversible global heating and save what can still be saved. And they're push and pull factors that you were getting into just a bit. But when, when people think about some people being in areas of this planet that cannot be inhabited anymore. That causes yes. a push factor. So we're going to have push and pull factor. We're going to have famine, drought, pestilence. I mean, it we sounds like the four horsemen, but it's really happening. And that's, that's why I chained myself to that bank as part of the global scientists rebellion. Thank it's because this story isn't being told in the media. They're treating it like you know, I don't know, some, what's a, they're treating it like less, giving it less attention than some celebrity breakup or something, yeah, right? It's yeah, insane. No, no, it gets less attention than the slap, you know? I mean. Much less attention than the slap. Like that slap in like a couple of days got almost as much attention as Climate Chaos did in all of 2021. It's just unbelievable. It really and is. We, we have to sound the alarm. I mean, this is happening really fast. The word isn't getting out. I'm really glad that the Scientist Rebellion went viral the way it did because it didn't even get reported in the global mainstream media. It's starting to now a little bit, yeah. but only because it went viral. Well, I'm glad that we have social media at our disposal so we can get the word out. Each one, teach one, each one, reach one. Shout out to the Scientist Rebellion. Rebel your behinds off. See, some people want to get cool. Yes. They, they want to be comfortable. They, they think you're supposed to say this nicely and calmly and collected. no. Your hair is on fire, so we must divest from fossil fuels, right, Doc? That's right. We must make a demand of government and businesses and politicians that are being bought off by this industry. I mean, Doc, what do they think? Well, I guess because so some people go into space, I think it might, some people, they think it might be okay to just go ahead and let this earth be destroyed because they just they are space. so unbelievable. They're so out of touch. It's It just boggles the mind. No, like it's infinitely easier to stop earth breakdown and to stop what we're doing to this planet and to actually learn how to get along with each other and get along with the other species on this planet. That is infinitely easier than quote unquote terraforming Mars. Come on. We're not going to be able to do that. That is a techno, that's a techno religious fantasy. That's like a, that's like cult level thinking there to think that we could possibly terraform more Mars or that the billionaires even have your best interests at heart. So oh, no, they're gonna leave our they're gonna leave our behinds down here and they're gonna destroy Mars. So we might as well <laughs> keep them here so they can't destroy no other planets. Doc, yeah. how do how should people get involved? What can they do to be? Because I saw the end of that video. We need a billion climate activists. How how can people get involved? You know, uh, Nina, that's actually a really hard question. I put a lot of thought into that. So I used to give guidelines like you got to join the groups that already exist. You got to speak out every chance you can. You got to talk to people, right? Talk to your, your crazy uncle. Um, you know, you got to get creative. You got to use your network. Maybe it's time to start thinking about switching your career into something that will help with climate breakdown and yeah. just, just solving it. But now what I say, I distill it down to two things. Number one, 
to be an activist means that you're pushing against social norms and yeah. you're pushing the movement forward. That means that you got to kind of figure it out on your own, which you know, joining other groups and making friends with other activists, that's critical. The second thing it means, pushing against those social norms means necessarily that you have to get out of your comfort zone. So like risking arrest, doing civil disobedience, I'm not, it's a great thing to do. It was, for me, it was a spiritual experience actually. And I learned so much from it and I felt, wonderful after doing it. Not everyone is ready to do that. It took me a few years even just to work up to that level. But supporting that um, and going out of your comfort zone and taking other kinds of risks, like take organizing at your workplace, trying to get them to change, you know, pushing, standing up against the, the greenwash that these corporations do. So there's, a, there's hundreds of ways to get involved. But unfortunately, there's not like a one size fits all prescription for being a climate activist, but I really hope people do soul searching and do find a way to get. The one thing that I will say that's universal is you can't do it alone. You got to link up together with other people that are already climate activists and join in that discussion, join in that conversation and learn by doing. That is my the best advice I can give. And thank you for that, Doc. And every other thing that we care about as we end this, and we're going to do this again and again and again, but I want people who are joining us this evening to know on Earth Day that every other thing that we care about is connected to saving Mother Earth That's and the right. ecosystem, the beautiful ecosystem, Doc, that you were talking about. There are creatures on this Earth, other living organisms that are depending on human beings to get it together and to do the right thing. So for some people, it might be racial justice. For other people, it might be women's reproductive health or voting yeah. rights. Name your issue. All of those issues intersect with having a planet that is habitable for ourselves and for younger generations and then generations yet unborn. So please get involved. I love the scientist rebellion, baby. Ain't nothing like a bunch of scientists rebelling. Y'all know That's what I'm right. saying? Nobody rebel like the scientists. We this we got to push back against this colonial extractivist system. It's all connected. You know, not having health care as a human right is connected too. It's all basically these ultra rich capitalists who created the system whose goal is to accumulate more and more capital at the expense of everything else, expense of our health, at the expense of our sanity, at the expense of even our planet. So it really is all connected. We got to, we can do better people. I know we can do better and we definitely need people running for office and in office who get this interconnectedness and who get how people are suffering and how the planet is suffering and how we got to stand up and make things better. That's it, Doc. I mean, I'm running against somebody right now that's taking money, you know, through a super I heard, yeah. Made it, uh, an oil baroness. Boo. Yeah, <laughs> like a Joe, Joe, Joe Manchin wannabe. I mean, yeah. that's not I cool. mean, it's, it's, it's totally, totally insane. But Doc, I want you to have the the last word of tonight based on something you put on twitter and you you tweeted the following as i often say we can't solve earth breakdown without a redistribution of wealth from the rich to the poor and justice for mo for the most affected peoples and we must and we need to raise up their voices my message shouldn't really be air quote in quotes polarizing to anyone but the rich and the fossil fuel executives. In other words, Dr. Peter is saying that that this mm -hmm. should not bother anybody else here other than those folks who really don't give a damn about the rest of us here, the poor, the working poor, the barely middle class, that profit is their God at the expense of everybody else and everything else on this earth. And this is worldwide. And one other point, Doc, we cannot solve this conundrum by ourselves. Can you imagine a world, instead of us making war with one another, how about we save Mother Earth together? Can you, I can, I can, I can imagine that. It's time to grow up as a species. That's the, that's the long and the short. I, I mean, Earth Breakdown is a warning from our mother, the planet itself, herself. And we have to start listening. I mean, she can't scream at us any louder. I, wait, she can't actually. That's the sad She's thing. Like, every year we wait, she will scream louder until finally it happens. Yeah. So let's make it happen as soon as we can. Let's make it happen. Doc, people can follow you on Twitter yeah. at Climate Human. If you have not seen the movie, don't look up. Baby, go see the movie. Yeah. Dude. This, that, I live. I live. Don't look up every day. So every day, yeah, that was you. That that encapsulates everything that you've been I, talking about. 
when fight, I fight alongside us, everyone. We this is this is a real fight. Like this is actually life or death. And like I said in that video, uh, when I was chained to the bank, I'm not joking about that. Um, it's really time to stand up to this repressive system, which is now irreversibly irreversibly degrading. It's we can't fix the planet like we we just can't do it we got to stop the damage before it gets worse yeah we do well doc thank you and your colleagues the the scientists rebellion for everything that you're doing thank you for sounding the alarm and we will definitely do this again All it's my not too late everyone we got to fight it's not too late thank you yeah, so much yeah. senator turner what a pleasure yeah. till next time good night yeah. everybody